Now let's say if you were to see a problem that looks like this. 3 divided by the square root of 5. And it tells you, rationalize the denominator. What would you do in this example? How would you go about doing it? Whenever you need to rationalize the denominator, basically, you want to get rid of the square root in the bottom of the fraction. To do that, in this example, multiply the top and the bottom by the square root of 5. 5 times 5 is 25. And the square root of 25 is 5. So the goal is simply to get rid of the radical in the bottom. So this is the answer. Now let's work on some examples. Try these two. Go ahead and simplify the expression. Rationalize the denominator. Feel free to pause the video and work on these two problems. So in the first example, all we're going to do is multiply the top and the bottom by the square root of 7. 7 times 7 is 49. And the square root of 49 is 7. And so that's it for the second example. Now what about the last one? Well, let's begin by doing the same thing. Let's multiply the top and the bottom by the square root of 8. So 8 times 8 is 64. And the square root of 64 is 8. Now notice that we can reduce the fraction. We have a 2 and an 8. Both numbers are divisible by 2. So the final answer is the square root of 8 divided by 4. Now go ahead and try these two examples. In the first example, we have an x instead of a number, but we're going to do the same thing. We're going to multiply the top and the bottom by the square root of x. So on top, it's simply 7 root x. On the bottom, x times x is x squared. And the square root of x squared is x. Now, some teachers may require you to put an absolute value sign here, but I'm not going to worry about that in this video. Now, what about the next one? Let's follow the same steps. Let's multiply the top and the bottom by the radical in the denominator. So it's going to be 8 root 4x. 4x times 4x is 16x squared. And the square root of 16x squared is just going to be 4x. Now, when you get to this point, always double check to see if you could simplify it further. We can. 8 divided by 4 is 2. So the final answer is 2 square root 4x divided by x. Try this one. 5 divided by the square root of x to the 4th times y to the 5th. Go ahead and simplify the radical. Now, before we try to rationalize it, we need to simplify the expression on the bottom. The square root of x to the fourth is basically x squared. 2 goes into 4 2 times. Now, 2 goes into 5 2 times as well, with 1 remaining. So there's going to be a y on the inside. So now, you want to rationalize the denominator at this point, after you simplify it first. So let's multiply the top and the bottom by the square root of y. Our goal is simply to get rid of the radical on the bottom. So we're going to have 5 root y divided by x squared y cubed. Now the reason why we get y cubed is because the square root of y times the square root of y is y. And y squared times y, 2 plus 1 is 3, so you get y cubed. And this is the answer. Now let's say if we have this problem. If we have a cube root instead of a square root. 
How would you rationalize the denominator? How would you get rid of the radical on the bottom? Because the index number is 3, to get rid of the radical, we need three twos in the bottom. Right now we only have one. So we're going to have to multiply the top and the bottom by the cube root of 2 squared. If we do that, on top we're going to have 4 times the cube root of 2 squared is 4. And on the bottom, 2 to the 1 times 2 squared, if you uh, add the exponents, you're going to get 3. So this is going to be 2 raised to the third power, which is 8. And the cube root of 8 is 2. So when you simplify, these two basically cancel. And so what we now have is 4 times the cube root of 4 divided by 2. And 4 divided by 2 is 2. So this is the final answer. Try this one. 3 divided by the cube root of 4. What would you do in this example? Well, notice that we could simplify the bottom first. 4, we can write it as 2 squared. So we only need one more 2 in the bottom, because if you think about it, the cube root of 8 is 2. So we just need to get to 8. So let's multiply the top and the bottom by the cube root of 2 to the first power. So on top, we simply have 3 times the cube root of 2. On the bottom, we have the cube root of 2 to the third power, which is just going to be 2. So the final answer is 3 cube root of 2 divided by 2. And that's it. Try this one. Now for this problem, we have 2x to the first power. So once again, we're going to multiply the top and the bottom by the cube root of 2x to the second power. So we can have three 2x uh, variables on the bottom. So on top, this is going to be 5 times the cube root of 4x squared. On the bottom, the cube root of 2x to the third power is just going to be 2x. And there's nothing we could do to simplify this fraction, so this is the answer. Try this one. 9 divided by the fourth root of 3x. In this case, we need to get four 3x's in the bottom. So we got to multiply by the fourth root of 3x to the third power. So on top, that's going to be 9, 4th root, 3 to the third is 27, so it's 27x cubed. On the bottom, we now have four 3x terms, so it's just going to be 3x in the bottom. And now we can simplify. 9 divided by 3 is 3, so then this is going to be the final answer. Now let's say if we have this expression, 8 divided by the 4th root, of 32x. Now in this case you want to simplify first. You can break up 32 into 16 times 2 because the fourth root of 16 is 2. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 4 times is 16. So if you could simplify before rationalizing, do that. So this is going to be 2 times the fourth root of 2x. And 8 divided by 2 is 4. So we have 4 divided by the 4th root of 2x. And now let's rationalize it. So we need 3 more 2x terms. So let's multiply the top and bottom by the 4th root of 2x to the third power. So on top, we have 4 times the 4th root of 8x cubed. And on the bottom, it's just going to be 2x. And 4 divided by 2 is 2. So the final answer is 2 times the 4th root of 8x cubed over x.
So this is going to be the last example for this video. Go ahead and simplify this problem. So we need to get rid of the radical. We have two x variables on the bottom, but we need 7, so we got to add 5. Let's multiply the top and the bottom by the 7th root of x to the 5th power. So on top, it's just going to be 6 times the 7th root of x to the 5th power. On the bottom, 2 plus 5 is 7. And 7 divided by 7 is 1. So the final answer is 6 times the 7th root of x to the 5th over x. And that's it.